Hey guys, so we just got back from Game Dude. And we're playing some Toeball the First. Such a funny game. <laughs> yeah, we just picked that up. Um, and I have encountered one of the strangest things in all of the repairs and things that I've done. I picked up another PS1 because uh, it was only two bucks. Uh, and it says, makes ringing noise. And I was like, huh, this looks like a really good condition PS1 that isn't scratched up. Uh, it's a, one of the 9,000 models, so it was made in October 99, so it should run really well. And Try open smoothly, got the game in there, the laser looks fine. Um, and the reason I picked this up is because recently my baby PS1 bit the dust. There's nothing inside it. Uh, it just wouldn't take power anymore, and I tried my best to fix that, but nothing I can do. And I have another PS1 under there, but that one needs a disc spindle. Um, so that's why I picked up another one. I just want a freaking working PS1 already. Uh, and I've got my modded PS2, but that laser is dead as well. It's like I can't get a Sony product with a functional, fully functional everything. So, um, watch what happens when I turn this on. This is really weird. I've never heard or seen anything like this in my entire collecting anything. It's really creepy. Thankfully it's daytime and I'm not sitting here at midnight staring into my TV like, oh, holy shit, I'm being possessed. But the game reads fine. So it's just the sound. So now I have a working PS1. It's then this sound works fine, I think, because... Oh, this is a nice game, by the way. It's called Inuyasha Feudal Fairy Tale. It's a late release fighting game for the console. I think this works fine because it's a uh, video. But then when you go to the menu, some things... Some things work, and other things don't. So when I try to move around... There's more beeping. It just gets worse and worse until you can't take it anymore. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and see what's going on here. I'll be right back. All right, so I have it apart now, um, and I was shocked because I have never seen this is the latest model before they released this smaller PS1 console, like the one that I had, the little baby white one. This motherboard is so tiny. This whole thing right here is a PS1, uh, and that shocked me. Let me just put this down carefully here. Um, okay. Actually, I think that needs to be moved up one. No. Okay, uh, but I couldn't see anything visibly wrong with the board. Uh, this is one of the cleanest consoles I've ever seen. It's in really great condition. That's why I went for it. Um... The power supply is fine. The motherboard looks fine. I looked at the underside. There didn't seem to be anything wrong. No scratches or anything. So I'm going to see if just reconnecting everything and dusting it out was enough to fix that problem. So let's plug it back in and test it. So I've got it back together kind of just temporarily right now. Uh, and I want to see if just that worked. So let's give it a shot. Hey, look at that. Perfect sound. Goes to show you, just taking something home, opening it up, cleaning it out, putting it back together, that could fix small problems like that. It's all good to go. Let's put it back together and play some games. So I got really lucky that this console was so easy to fix. It's all back together now, fully functional. Um, what I realized was the problem was that um, something about either the metal plate covering the motherboard or the lid being tightened too much or this thing being removed, um, I don't know, something, there was like too much pressure on the board somewhere. I kind of just loosened things up all around uh, and now it works fine. I'll put a disc in and show you really quick. Uh, it cleaned up super nice. This one is in just really great shape, and I'm super happy about that. So, 
plug in the controller. Let's get a game out here. Same game. Just to show you that this works. Of the PS1. Probably my favorite console of all time. Mm, there we go. So I'll, I'll skip that really quickly. Now we have all the proper sound. Tyco drums there. Anyways, yep, it's fixed. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more.